Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood budgie here, and I'm going to be playing Killing Floor on hard mode for the first time. Um, I will begin as a field medic, but I'm going to give this a go as a firebug, so since I'm doing that, I may as well play as Steampunk Firebug. And here we go. I'm starting as a field medic because I have that to level 6, which means I get the free gun, which should come in useful because I'll be able to sell it in order to be able to get a bit more gold to start off with. Uh, well that wasn't so bad, maybe hard isn't as bad after all. I've been playing on normal and I've managed to complete all the difficulties on normal, or the maps rather, and so I decided I would increase the difficulty, go for a bit of a harder challenge. And then I decided that I would record it so that I could prove to my friends that I actually did it. And how there'll be people thinking out there, but hard isn't even that bad. And hopefully I will be able to finish every map on hard and then move further onwards and upwards. But until then you have to start somewhere, don't you? Because you can't move on to you've got all the achievements. At least that's the stupid thing that I believe. Just right. Right. Hello. I would like to sell my weapon. Change to firebug. And I want a trench gun or a golden flamethrower this time. I think I'll go for the flamethrower just because I like being able to spread around my fire a lot. Now I've got 25 seconds to get ready, although I don't think there's anywhere in particular I want to go. If I could find a spare pistol lying around, I'd be able to sell it. But I don't really want to go inside the buildings. And so I think I will just keep heading down. Now it should be interesting when I get to wave 5 with Scrakes and 7 with Flesh Pounds because I'm not used to Scrakes and Flesh Pounds in hard mode and therefore it's going to take a little bit more effort than it would normal I'm presuming. I suppose we'll find out. I know that in normal you can just set fire to a Scrake with a flamethrower and generally it will pop down before it gets to you. Hello, where'd you come from? I am now thinking this tunnel is probably not the best place to hold off. So I may try moving around a bit. Machete. There we go. There was something else that I could carry that wasn't impossible. This problem with the flamethrower it just is so damn heavy that you can't carry anything else. I have gone completely the wrong way and may not have time to get to the trader. This is a problem. I'm not even going to bother about the ammo, I'm just going to run straight there. Please don't let me be trapped down in the dark. Please don't let me be trapped down in the dark. That would be very bad. That yeah, should be fine, so I'll grab this ammo on the way down. I don't even know where the door is. Come on. There we go. Now, the problem is, I've made it here, but I need enough time to get out as well. 
If I do not get out in time, then this will be a very big problem. So we need to find the next exit. Oh, here's one here. Phew. They're coming. I'm gone. Right. Hello. I did not realize that you guys were following me. It's, this, it's those stalkers, the invisible ones that get me every time. But I do not expect them to find And that guy apparently. He also got me. Good thing about doing this on wave three is I get a bit of time to um, keep up with all the different things. Oh, there we go. There's just one guy left. So what I might do is I might make a few videos of different games that I have in my Steam library, Steam games that I want to get the achievements for. And I will give them all a feel and see which ones I feel making interesting videos and from there I will decide what I'm going to do, which ones I will make videos for. Maybe I'll let you decide. I haven't really decided yet. This is the first video, so I don't even know who you are anymore. You may not exist. You, the loyal fan. Nice. Now these first few waves usually aren't too bad in the killing for game, so hopefully it will go well, but if it doesn't then I may decide to try and skip some if it's a little bit too easy I may decide to try and skip some of the video in order to get to the bit where I start having problems, which I'm sure will come around very soon. But at the moment I seem to be going fine if I can kill those sirens. Anything that makes your screen go blurry is a problem. <laughs> right, now I better head to the trader so I don't make the same mistake as the last time. I think this is a good place to hold up, I might try and remember that is there. And get back there later on if I need to. Now there should be two more people trying to find me and kill me, but I don't know where they are. They might be following me, or they might be somewhere else. It's difficult to say. Here they are. Just give you a little bit of fire and see how much it takes to kill you. Maybe I need that little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. See, hard mode isn't so bad. And I can even get some pipe bombs, start saving them up. Because I have a funny feeling I may need them later on. Assuming that hard mode doesn't actually change the wave in which flesh pounds and scrapes spawn. When you see a flesh pound, you will know. If you have not played this game before, the presence of a flesh pound is quite noticeable. It's a little bit bigger than the others, and it has clubs for hands that can pound your flesh. This is very aptly named.
So this is wave 5, we may start seeing scrapes appear somewhere, I'm not sure where they'll come from if they do, but I would generally expect to see scrapes about now. There's a lot of invisible people in front of me. I'm not sure if that shows up in the video or not, but... There they are. Now, enough about you. No, no. There we go. It was probably because I forgot to heal. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Killing for Hard Mode with your friendly neighbor, Budgie.